What's going on everyone? Please, before you go any further in the video, smash the like button if the audio is doing okay. I took some sound advice from a close friend of mine and he said the number one thing is audio to improve your viewing experience. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, so you can catch a video from me every week. I'm starting a segment called Commuter Experience Book Reviews where I review the books I read on my daily commute. One of my goals, if you recall my goal setting video, is to read at least one book a month for this year. I just finished my book for January and it's a book I've read before because it was so informative I just had to reread it. The title of this book is The Simple Path to Wealth, Your Roadmap to Financial Independence and a Rich Free Life by J.L. Collins. The reason I reread this book is because I wanted to go back to the beginning where I took learning personal finance seriously. Note, this is not financial advice and you should do your own research before building your own wealth. Real quick summary about this book. Collins wrote this book from the perspective of telling his daughter how she should start building her wealth. Since she just graduated college at the time of the book's writing, she was still fairly young and she had time on her side to build wealth. Collins starts by telling his personal story around wealth, retirement, and the hard lessons he learned along the way. The first few chapters start with an orientation section that talk about debt and what he calls FU money. Then it goes into the simple path to wealth, the loser's game, and what you actually do when you get there, i.e. retirement. The first two takeaways I want to note are debt and FU money. Debt is a double-edged sword and can make or break people. The universal understanding about debt is that debt is bad. Bad debt includes consumer debt from credit cards, ridiculously high student loans, car loans, and in some cases, a really expensive mortgage. The strategies that Collins suggest is to pay off your high interest debt as soon as possible. Pay your debts off, but if you can make money elsewhere at a higher rate of return, it is absolutely advantageous to do so. Now, what is FU money? FU money is the money you need in order to be financially independent. For a general example, let's just say you have a salary of 50K a year, but you depend on holding that steady job for that. FU money is having $1,250,000 in savings and investments, so you only live on 4% or that 50K a year, where you actually don't run out of the $1,250,000. Taking a step back, I started investing in 2014 where I opened an account on E-Trade and I worked at an internship at Home Depot. My first shares that I bought were Home Depot stock and I held them on for about two months. They grew a little bit, but then there was a credit card breach at Home Depot that was announced, so I sold them for a small profit and that's it. If I held onto those shares, I would have more than doubled the value at the current stock price of HD. Another investment I did was cryptocurrency. 2017 was probably the wildest ride anyone can attest to. Bitcoin and altcoins were all the rage in 2017 and the end of the year presented all time highs. As crazy as it is believed now, people were taking out mortgages and throwing it into cryptocurrency at an all time high and then lost a lot of value. I didn't have a mortgage back then, but I did put a few thousand into crypto and lost its value. The simple path to wealth involves this one key phrase, broad index funds. Index funds, not to be confused with actively managed funds, are market trackers such as the S&P 500 or a blend of stocks that define an index. I believe right now there are more index and mutual funds than actual US stocks. Vanguard, one of the many prominent investment companies out there, provides some of the best index funds to choose from. The most prominent is VT Sachs, which is an index that tracks all US publicly traded companies with a low expense ratio. If you own VT Sachs Admiral shares, you own essentially one piece of every US publicly traded company. If you look at a similar index such as the Dow Jones Industrial Average, historically it has always gone up. Despite the Great Depression in the 1930s, the dot-com boom, or even the Great Recession more recently, historically it has always gone up. There are many examples in this book that talk about the principle of growth. One of the coolest things that I like about index funds, specifically VT Sachs, is if there is a stock that is being tracked in the index that fails or doesn't perform, it is cleansed from the index and then new ones are added in. On top of that, any dividend stocks that are tracked in the index also pay you out dividends as if you were to own individual dividend stocks. Simply put, you own shares in one fund 
and it keeps it simple and very easy to manage yourself. This keeps out phony insurance salesmen that pass off as financial advisors or financial managers who charge a lot of money to invest in options that are not always in your best interest. Other topics the books talk about are bonds. Bonds help stabilize your portfolio since the stock market is volatile. Another topic includes international funds, but since VT Sachs already tracks all US-based companies, which 80% of them are global, it takes out the need to have international stocks and keeps it very simple. The last topic it talks about is retirement accounts or tax advantaged accounts. You have your 401ks, 403bs, TSPs, IRAs, and Roth IRAs. I highly suggest researching and reading up on all these topics to see which ones you qualify for and which ones are the best for you. Or you can simply just read this book. What do we do when we get there? As in, what do we do when we retire? You can start considering withdrawals from your retirement account starting at 59 and a half and into your 60s. Social security is another nuance where if you decide to pull out earlier, your checks will be less, but the longer you wait, the larger they will be. On top of your other accounts previously mentioned, that's not a bad chunk of change into your golden years. Just don't depend solely on social security because we don't know how much will actually be there by the time we get to that age. Start investing, start saving, and start increasing your streams of income now. I understand investing is not for everyone, but I also believe everyone should have some sense of financial literacy, at least starting with the basics. I mean, you can hide all your cash, you can save all your cash and hide it underneath a mattress, but you fall victim to demons like inflation. An example of inflation is, I'm sad I can only buy one apple pie for $1 at McDonald's instead of two the value of the dollar basically has decreased by 50%. If you don't currently have the funds to comfortably begin investing, pay off your high interest debt first, and then start saving a cushion towards your future investing endeavors. One thing before I wrap this up is this, knowledge is power, but that phrase alone is not enough. Knowledge with a plan followed by execution is power. Reading books is so helpful and eye-opening, but if you only take in all this great information without any action, you will face analysis paralysis where you're accumulating all this fantastic knowledge, but you are too afraid to make the first actual steps to actually make things start happening. I highly encourage you to keep reading articles, books, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos, etc., so that you'll have the foundational knowledge. Also put your newfound information into action. Start looking into these different index funds and perform your own due diligence on which funds or investment platforms that make sense for you and your situation. If you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. Please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. If you have any questions about this book or any topics mentioned in the video, please feel free to comment down below and I'll gladly start a conversation about it or plan out a future video going into more detail about that topic. I'll post a link to this book in the description below as well. You can find me on Instagram. I post there pretty much daily. Um, if you want to be part of it there. Also, if you want two free stocks from Webull, I have a link in the description below where if you deposit any amount, Webull will grant you two free stocks valued up to $1,400. And with that, thanks again for watching the video and I'll catch you all next time.